Now here's AMPK. Now AMPK protein is activated by the binding of adenosine monophosphate. So when the cell is under energy stress, so there's not adequate glucose intake, calorie restriction, cell undergoes energy stress. So lack or reducing ATP, but higher levels of AMP would activate this protein because AMP binds to AMPK and activates it. Apart from binding of AMPK and acti uh, getting activated, AMPK can also be activated by upstream kinases. Remember, kinases add a phosphate group and activate another protein. Um, upstream kinases, LKB and CAM kinase. So CAM kinase is activated by the presence of intracellular calcium. So calcium activated kinase, calcium chromodulin binding activates this kinase, which then adds a phosphate group at this site, uh, 3 in 1, 7, 2 on AMPK, and that activates AMPK. Now, there are several research that's underway that looks at activation of AMPK because AMPK activity declines with age, and several research articles have shown that AMPK declining with age. And if we have dietary, example, calorie restriction, exercise activates AMPK, genetic ways to uh, uh, activate AMPK, and pharmacological agents such as metformin can activate AMPK. This is shown to improve longevity. Now, AMPK process, is a catabolic process or it promotes catabolic pathways because as I mentioned, AMPK gets activated when there's an energetic stress, meaning there's low levels of ATP. So AMPK will turn off pathways that will use ATP and will turn on pathways that will produce ATP. AMPK, as I mentioned earlier, would be activated by the ratio of the ratio of AMP to ATP or ADP to A ATP increases. AMP is a, a central energy gauge, so it can sense ener energy imbalance, like a whole body energy balance control. That's how AMPK acts. Now, aging is associated with decline in AMPK activity and signaling. So if there are ways to promote AMPK signaling, then we could potentially improve um, aging associated um, uh, or prevent the onset of aging associated chronic diseases. Now, apart from, um, apart from turning on all the um, catabolic processes, AMPK is also important in preventing fatty acid synthesis because AMPK is inhibitory to a protein called, or enzyme called as um, ACC, acetyl-CoA carboxylase. So acetyl-CoA helps in the conversion of acetyl-CoA to malonyl-CoA, which then promotes fatty acid synthesis. Now, if AMPK is inhibitory to ACC, then fatty acid synthesis is curved. And that's another important function of AMPK because the absence of fatty acids or re reduced fatty acid synthesis is beneficial because aging is associated with, um, you know, excess fat accumulation, which then signals and there's insulin resistant onset. So all those can be prevented as well by activation of AMPK. Now here, once again, a an overview that just shows that AMPK suppresses pathways that consume energy and upregulates pathways that will break down uh, or get, break down and utilize or promote ATP production. Now there's research on AMPK activation. So in um, this manuscript, the authors were able to show that mouse that are older had severe outcomes after um, induced lung injury hemorrhage-induced lung injury. The outcome was more severe. Um, the mouse had a harder time recovering than young mouse. What they found was this inability of older mouse to recover was due to impaired activation of AMPK. 
the mouse actually had harder time even responding to um, AMPK agonist ACAR. The AMPK activation was prevented and uh, the mouse had severe outcome when compared to young mouse. That shows how important AMPK in aging. So when the activity of AMPK dwindles or goes down and then aging associated conditions develop, that's different from a young mouse, which is able to recover from the lung in, in, uh, injury. And another research um, was looked at calorie restriction on AMPK activation. So the mouse were fed, or rats, rats were fed a calorie restricted diet. So that they were consuming only 60% of what they were consuming earlier. And this went on for eight weeks. So that resulted in activation of AMPK. And they also observed that activation of autophagy occurred. You know, activation of AMPK can result in inhibition of mTOR pathway. So that resulted in activation of autophagy. And they found that the older mouse, when autophagy was activated, they have improved consequences. They, this is their model from their paper. Then they attributed this AMPK activation to improvements in autophagy, which prevented oxidative stress buildup. So as the rats grew older, um, they had more oxidative damage that resulted in damaged kidneys. And when AMPK was activated by calorie restriction, autophagy was enhanced, which was able to get rid of some of this oxidative damage and that promoted health in older mouse models. 